Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. I want to start every video with thanking you, the viewers and the subscribers, everybody who reaches out to me. You've all been absolutely awesome. Um, and so let's keep that up. We're almost 8,000, then we'll be at 10,000. And why stop there? Let's get that play button at 100,000 subscribers. So this video is going to be on creating a remote user VPN using Unify in the USG. So I want to start by prefacing this with that we are not using the 5.4.14 stable release for this. We are using the beta release because it's got everything we need. The 5.4.14 has a little bit of a different setup. A lot of people are using the uh, um, the beta version. You know, you can uh, make if you're gonna if and if you're gonna upgrade to this, make sure that you have a backup so that if things go south, you can revert. Um, you can do this on 5.4.14, but it is not as easy as it is with this this beta version. Also, one thing that I don't know and I haven't tested, so if you do it, put your feedback down in the comments. I don't know that this can be enabled and that site-to-site -site can be enabled at the moment. So try that out and let me know, but let's, let's get started. So like I said, this is a beta controller, so we look at our devices... Uh, we've got our USG and we got some switches and access points. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to settings and we're going to go over to the services and then right under radius which says beta we're going to go over to server and we're going to make sure that this is turned on and that we've got a, a secret set. Now do not use the same secret as me and use something much more secure than let me in exclamation point. This is lab video only. So um, we'll configure this and then we'll connect to my phone and get it going. So make sure your radius server is enabled, turn it on, give it a secret, leave everything else at default. Then we're going to go over here to users and we're going to create a user. And we're going to call it WHOW. And we'll use that same let me in. I'm not going to assign a VLAN, but if you wanted this user to be on a different VLAN when they connected, then you could fill that VLAN in here. Pretty pretty cool. So then tunnel type, we're going to make it uh, L2TP and tunnel medium is going to be IP version 4. We're going to go ahead and save that. So now you can see we've got this user WHOW and uh, we're not specifying the radius VLAN, but we could. And then uh, it's worth noting that this radius profile, since I have the USG and this software, uh, was set up by default in here. And you can see that the name of it is default. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, and you could come in here and turn on those VLAN supports, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that alone for now. We'll deal with that in another video. So then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Networks and I already have this here. I'm going to delete this so that you can see uh, how we created that. So you go into networks and you're going to click create new network and we're going to call this uh, Road Warriors. And it'll be a remote user VPN. Under the VPN type we'll do L2TP we're going to set a pre-shared key. Let's see if I can hit the little eyeball there. I have to type it in. Nope. Okay, gateway subnet. We're going to make this 192.168.100.1 slash. I don't think it needs to have a whole class C. So we could do like a 29, which is going to give us just a few IPs. We'll let it set the name server automatically which should set it to um, you know what we're not gonna do that we're gonna specify at 66.10 here's this some site-to-site -site stuff exposed to site-to-site -site VPN but I don't know if this works at the moment now um, if you don't want to use the USG um, Radius server, you could create a new radius profile, connect Unify out to a new radius server. You see, you saw how we did that back in the uh, 802.1x video. 
but I am going to use the default profile so I am going to select that and I'm going to click save so that is going to provision out to the USG and so once everything's provisioned what we'll do is we'll pull up the WAN IP so when you set up your client you're going to either point to the domain name that is pointed to the WAN interface of your USG or you're going to point to the IP I always suggest doing everything with a uh, fully qualified domain name it just makes it easier so our USG is still provisioning but we will in just a second here hop over to the phone okay it looks like we're reprovisioned I'm gonna hook up my phone and uh, we'll get that part of it going okay so real quick we're gonna grab the WAN interface off of uh, our USG 66.208 then we're gonna come phone and uh, this we're gonna go to more connections and VPN and then we're going to add a VPN and we're going to call this uh, we'll call this Unify Lab the type will be uh, L2TP IPsec pre-shared key server address is going to be the WAN address 192.168.16 I don't have an FQDN assigned to this inside of the network but if if it's exposed to the real world that's what I'm going to use I'm not going to use the I the IP we'll leave the L2TP secret blank the IPsec identifier blank we'll put in our pre-shared key go ahead and click Save so now we see we've got Unify Lab. We'll go ahead and click on that. It's going to prompt us for credentials. So we'll put in that same username and password we created. And we'll click Connect. And with any luck, it will connect. Connected. So at this point, uh, let's see if we can get Oop. so you can see we we're sending and receiving so it really is that easy to set this up with unify um, if you set it up and you play around with it, put your experiences down in the comments. Let's talk about this, see how this works out for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please use my affiliate links that are down in the video. If you want to be notified when I release a new video, click that little bell that's floating around down there somewhere. Uh, again, thank you. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next video.